we are supposed to create this pyramid instead of the simple pyramid that we had to do in Mario, the less comfortable version. So to start off, we'll take a simple example. For, for instance, this example is 1, 2, 3, 4. If n equals 4, we're going to get this pyramid over here. So to get this pyramid, n equals 1, 2, 3, 4. So let's see. If n equals 4, then my uh, this sort of complicated pyramid is going to look like this, which is comprised of two pyramids. One is left aligned, the other one is right aligned, followed by two blank spaces in the bit in the middle. So this is what this is going to look like, okay? Okay, so what we want to do is, if n equals 4, we want to generalize. We want to look at how this pyramid gets printed, okay? So let's... Let's say that i is the num is the row number, okay? If the row number is i, and i starts from 0 all the way till n minus 1, right? Oops, 0, 1, 2, 3. And then j is the column number, starts from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 by 2 spaces, 4 and 5 is going to be space, and 6, 7, 8, 9, right? What's happening here is we essentially we can start an i loop a for loop for with the variable i the loop variable i i starts from zero i can then you know less than four i plus plus okay and then we can say what we want is we want to print a bunch of these spaces how many spaces do we need well uh, we need to print a couple of spaces. How many spaces? One, two, three. Three spaces. We want to print a space three times, right? We can def define this function of our own. And then after that, we'll say we want to print uh, a hash one time. And then we want to print two blank spaces. And then we want to print another hash. So now this structure, this structure over here, will create the first row, right? And it will create this uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 times, right? But what we need instead of this 3, we need uh, we need to change this, right? Because every single time, this is changing, right? The number of the number of hashes need to change. So what, ha what should happen here is instead of 3, instead of 3, we must have something related with i, right? So if, for example, if i is 1, i is 0, and over here if i is 0, then we are getting how many hashes? 1 hash. So if i is 1, we are getting 2 hashes, right, over here. So instead of, uh, you know, 1 hash, I should have i plus 1 hash, right, because if i is 2, we are getting i plus 1, 3 hashes, three, 3 number of hashes, right. And so after that, we have a hash. How many hashes do we need? Sorry, we need this ma these many hashes, i plus 1 ma number of hashes. I'm going to change that to i plus one number of hashes and same thing will happen in the right line pyramid i plus one number of hashes and after that for this two instead of two okay and, and every single time there's going to be this two two blank spaces for every single i over here right so this is correct this is correct and these two things are correct all three correct but we will now need to say how many spaces do we need over here so if you look at you know how many spaces are here in the first row we have three spaces in the second row we have two spaces in the third row we have one space and then we have zero spaces over here so what's happening let's let's relate this with the number of spaces of i over here so what we can do here is you note that if what's happening here is when i is zero we need zero, we need three spaces, which is n minus one, okay. And then when n i is one, we need two spaces, which is n minus one, minus one, okay. So it seems like it seems like what we're doing is the first when i is zero, we're printing three spaces. When i is uh, one, we are printing two spaces. When i is zero, when i is two we are printing one space and when i is 3 we are printing zero space, space zero spaces 
so it seems like and n is equal to 4 here okay what it seems like is um, we are printing sort of like n minus 1 spaces here okay this is equal to n minus 1 and 2 is what n minus 2 this is n minus 3 this is n minus 4 okay so what's happening here is in general we are printing n minus 1 minus i spaces right if you look this is, this is also n minus 1 is n minus 1 minus 0 n minus 1 minus n minus 2 is n minus 1 minus 1 over here right n minus 2 n minus 3 is n minus 1 minus 2 here and n minus 4 is n minus 1 minus 3 which is n minus 4 right this seems like we can generalize all these things in with this pattern right so we can have n minus 1 minus i number of spaces over here okay now let's begin let's start to code this up okay so what should we do first we need to take input from the user as you can see here input should be uh, between 1 and 8 inclusive so I'm going to say int n and then I have a do while loop here I'm going to say while n is less than 1 and n or if n is less than 1 or n is greater than 8 then this is an invalid input that the user has, in, has entered okay so I want to repeatedly tell the user I will repeatedly ask the user for an integer and I want to prompt what prompt do I need height I need h e i height right so after this we need to uh, look at this logic and do this right and we want to create this print function of our own so to do that what we're going to do here is we can create a print function right over here after this we have void print and I what I'm trying to do is I'm going to take in a character over here I'm taking a character and I'm going to uh, take in the number of times I want to repeat that character over here uh, the next parameter and then I'm going to print that many times the character that many times so so simple I'm just going to start with a for loop and I'm going to say I want n number of I'm going to print that character so let me see percent c for character and I'm going to print that character n number of times right so this prints so i is 0 i is 1 i is 2 i is 3 all the way till n minus 1 I'm going to print n times this character c okay so now what I'm going to do is now I can write this code up here okay you can say for int i equals 0 but before doing that we need to s tell the compiler that such a function exists so I'm going to declare that function over here and to do that I just need to copy paste this uh, definition of the function and followed by a semicolon so after that what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to copy this code over here so instead of uh, i being 4 i less than 4 this should be general so i should be less than n over here i plus plus so after that what i'm going to do is i'm going to print what i should print i want to print first i'm going to print these number a couple of spaces right how many spaces do we need we calculated it as n minus 1 n minus 1 minus i so oops n minus 1 minus i number of spaces minus one minus i number of spaces then we want to print a couple of hashes how many hashes are there well we need i plus one number of hashes and then after that so this we print space first the spaces first we print a ha the hash first then we print uh, two spaces after that so i'm going to print one two or i'm going to print a space two times and then after that I can, i'm going to print another hash okay now here's the thing after we we after we do this we need to go on to move on to the next line right and to do that what i need i need to print f print a new line and how do we do that you use the printf function to, to do that right save this i'm going to compile this make mario right oops we have an error over here it says percent c printf this will print f percent c this dash dot slash mario and height if i enter eight it seems to work then if i enter four it seems to be working so far and if i enter two 
this seems to be working so now after this I should check 50 right I should run check 50 and see if this works or not so while this is running let me just reiterate what's going on here so what I'm doing here is I am trying to take the input from the user and then I am looking at the pattern that is that I found out and printing spaces or hashes depending on whatever my requirements are okay so let's see what are, there can be other ways of solving this problem and if you find other ways of solving this problem please put them in the comments below and you know let, let's think about other ways of solving this problem so other ways of solving this problem too could be instead of doing this we could have used the conditions okay we could have said something like uh, you know if the value of i and j happens to be so the diagonal is essentially i plus j so if you look at this if the diagonal so you can if you look at the diagonal over here this diagonal has a special property that if you sum i and j it sums up to sums up to n minus 1 and which in this case is 3 so you can say something like that and you can say some you can use some conditions from here to there from all these values for all these values and cre create another solution so for now, I'm going to keep this video short and end my video over here. So that's pretty much it. I'll try other solutions, write them in the comments below. And uh, yeah, like, share and subscribe to the channel.